There have been all sorts of video game controllers created over the years, but most PC gamers still rely on their keyboard. It's capable of putting dozens of commands right at your fingertips. But the latest input device trying to crack the PC gaming market just might be good enough to win over some keyboard traditionalists. This is Peregrine, a gaming glove that's actually fast enough for serious gamers. Instead of having to reach across the keyboard to hit awkwardly place the hockey sometimes, I instead have intuitive, short movements, travel time reduced, uh, accuracy 100%. I mean, I can do this all day long with my eyes closed, I'm never going to miss it. The washable glove is pretty low tech. It's laced with simple conductors that can be connected together in a variety of hand movements. There are three contact pads, one on the palm of the hand and two on the thumb. Touch any of the 18 finger points to a contact pad and the glove sends a unique action to the game. Included software lets you calibrate and program the results of each touch. So for the tip of the finger, I have a click here and it shows all the hockeys I've set for the tip of my finger. If I want to touch the meat of the thumb one, I go ahead and bind these. I currently have it blank, but, you know, want to set one up. Though the developers say that the glove could be configured for typing or design projects, it's really designed for games that require lots of hotkeys. Games like Heroes of New Earth, Defense of the Ancients, or World of Warcraft. So I have all my characters' different skills. Her leap ability I bound to the tip of my finger and my thumb contact pad pressing. Her arrow ability bound to there. Starfall. Just all my different skills easily accessible. So is it hard to remember all the hand positions? Not for Cyrus. He says it only took a few hours to master the glove on one of his favorite games, Warcraft 3. Some people came up, fans of the game that were skeptics, and they sat down one of the other pro gamers, had him use the keyboard and me using the glove. And we went one versus one, and in the end I winded up beating him. Not saying it was because of the glove, but it showed that I was able to take all of my skill and transfer it over and use it more comfortably for sure as well. So far, the company has only developed a left-hand glove for PCs, which leaves the right hand free to control a mouse. But both a right-handed version and a Mac-compatible glove are in the works. The glove is priced at $150, but some players might find it worth the cost. In a pro gaming situation, uh, a quarter of a second difference can mean the difference between life and death, so uh, to me I find it very valuable. For IEEE Spectrum, this is Josh Romero.